So now it's time to stretch. We're going to use our large wide flat band for the following stretches. So let's lie down, bend your left knee, straighten your right leg, place the band in the middle of the foot, relax the leg and pull the leg in until you feel the back of the leg loosening up. It's a good idea to use slow relaxation breathing during all of the stretches. Slowly inhaling through the nose, hold the breath a second or two, and exhale out through the mouth. Let's stretch out the other leg. So we're doing a hamstring stretch. Bring one leg in, take the other leg out, relax the leg, use your arms to pull that leg in until you feel a stretch behind the leg. You should feel no pain, just a little tension behind the leg. And continue with slow relaxation breathing. Let's do another leg exchange. This time, we're going to place the band on the ball of the foot. Press downward so that in this position, you can feel the Achilles and the calf loosening up. We're now going to point and flex. We'll point for one second and flex for three. Point, flex to three. Point, flex to three. Point, flex to three. And point, flex to three. Let's do the same thing now on the other foot. Place the band, make sure it's nice and flat on the ball of the foot. Apply some pressure, bring the toe downward, feel the stretch in the Achilles and the calf. Point the toe and flex for three seconds. Point and flex two, three. Point flex two, three, point and flex two, three, point, flex two, three. We're now going to stretch out the hip area. So start the stretch in the figure four position. Your right ankle should go right in front of the left knee. Take your flat band, make sure it's very flat, and wrap it around the left thigh. Hold on to the band with your left hand and you're going to use the left hand to pull the lower body into the body, in towards the chest, allowing your right arm to open up the hip by pushing the knee outward. Again, nothing should hurt. Only, only press to the point of feeling the area loosening up. Let's switch to the other side. Place the ankle in front of the knee. Take your flat band. Make sure it's nice and flat. and wrap it around the thigh. Hold on to that band. Use that arm to pull the lower body in towards the chest and face, freeing up the other arm to open up the chest, open up the hip, just gently push out. Use slow relaxation breathing. Let's now 
go into the stretching rack. Take your band, have your arms straight, reach overhead so the arms are near the ear, lengthen the legs out, point the toes, and try to elongate from your fingertips all the way to your toes. Take slow, deep breaths. Let's now bend the knees and go into shoulder flexion to loosen up the shoulders. Bring the arms up and press all the way down. Let's widen the grip. Hands are further apart. We're gonna reach overhead and bring it back up. And now to loosen up the front of the leg, the quadricep, we'll lie on our side and you can take your flat band Wrap it around the foot to help bring the heel all the way up. If you need more of a stretch, take your bottom leg and just press back. Let's do the same stretch on the other side. Wrap the band around the outer leg, bend the knee, try to bring the heel all the way up, try to keep both legs in line with each other, and for an additional stretch, you can take the leg on the floor, press the heel right above the knee, and press back. And finally, to stretch out the inner leg, let's sit in a half straddle, bringing the left leg in, the right leg out to the side. Wrap the band around the middle of the extended leg and keeping our spine straight from tailbone to head, we're just going to lean into that extended leg. Of course, we're not going to get very far because we want to make sure we don't go into forward flexion. So in effect, we're doing a hip hinge. Take that extended leg and bring it slightly further out to the side, keeping the spine straight, lean into that leg. Use your band to help pull into the stretch. and we'll go to the other side. Sit in a half straddle, take your band and wrap it around the middle of the extended leg, sitting up nice and straight so that your spine is straight from head to tailbone, hip hinge into that leg, And now bring that leg out a little bit further out to the side and hip hinge into that leg. And we'll now finish up with a few standing stretches. 